the um, titles I'm going to use up here, we'll start up here in row, um, let's move, I'm going to move my answer section, summary answer up one more row I think, I'm going to control X and move that up, and, uh, and then on row 20 I'll put beginning investment, do employee, employer, I can do uh, total, this would be total, total earnings, and then balance at retirement. So these are the uh, key figures I want. Uh, up here, uh, I'd like people to know that both these columns, all three of these columns are contributions, so sometimes this is what I do. I'll put in a single apostrophe and I'll put a backslash because if I just put the apostrophe in by itself it will think I'm doing math uh, division so I have to put a single apostrophe to say hey what's following is text and I'll put in some dashes and then type in the word contributions and put in some more dashes and get to uh, another slash so that tells people that these are all um, you know contributions uh, down here under beginning investment, we're going to test if the data is complete. So we're going to test the is data complete. Um, if it is, I want to bring in the original investment balance. Otherwise, just put in a blank. So in other words, that's my beginning investment. Now I'm going to just pick up total contributions, then I'll back into the employee and the employer portions of that. So for my total, I can uh, type in equals if, and I want to test if it's complete. If it is complete, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. And uh, this is going to be a little unique, VLOOKUP. And I want to look up the age of this individual. I want to look up their age. And I want to look it up in this range, all of our data completeness. All, all of our uh, detailed data, and I'm going to shift in down. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm I'm going to look up in all of my detail, and I'm going to try to find that person's age. And once I do find it, I put a comma. And I'm going to go up here. What column do I want to have returned? Well, I'm looking up total contributions, so I actually want a cumulative contribution. So if I count the columns age column in this range is 1, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So cumulative contributions to date are in the 8th column of this range, and so I put the number 8. Then I can end my parentheses, and then uh, if the data is incomplete, then it's um, blank. So I hope you've seen what I've done. I've simply selected this range, and um, I'm using it as the lookup table. I'll look up retirement age in this table and return the eighth column for whatever age that person is. So let's test that. Uh, this person 65. Let's go down to the age 65 and it should be, I'll change this to be a comma, uh, 294,000. So when they're 65 they should have had cumulative contributions. And before I go down too far, I'm going to go up and I'm going to freeze these panes so I can actually see the titles. So I'll put my cursor in cell C28, choose view, and free pain, freeze panes both uh, row and column. So now I'm going to go down to 65, and that helps me read these as I go down low. And cumulative contributions, 294, 987. So let's see if that worked. Control home. I'll have to unfreeze those panes. 294, 987. 294.97. So what it did is it found their year 65 and returned the corresponding cumulative contributions. Now to determine how much of those contributions are employee and employer, um, all we have to do is go back to these percentages uh, which we have before. As you can see, total contributions, if I add these two together, let's add these two together, sorry, that and that, is seven and a half percent. Okay, so in other words, seven and a half percent of the person's salary in any given year is is in this contribution here. 
So what percentage of the 7.5% is employee? Well, it's 4 divided by 7.5%, so a little over 50%. How much is employer? It's a little less than 50% because it's 3.5 divided by 7.5%. So that's what I'm going to do to come up with employer. I'll take 3.5 divided by 7.5% times this total contributions. And to come up with employee, I'll take 4 divided by 7.5% times the total contributions. So I just wanted you to catch the vision here before I get into that math. So we'll go first to employee. So under employee, we will... Um, test whether the data is complete by uh, typing in the completeness test. Is the data complete? Uh, if it is, then we want to take our total contributions and multiply it by this ratio of the employee contribution percentage divided by the sum of employee plus employers, so that's the 7.5%. So I'm taking the 4% uh, divided by 7.5% um, and then finishing up with another parenthesis to make sure my beginning and ending parentheses here match, beginning and ending parentheses here match, and then I'm still in the if statement, so I have to finish up with the double quotes if it's not um, complete, and that's what your formula would be. Um, so I'll hit enter. So what that says is of this 294, 157 is employer, uh, sorry, employee contributions. Now we'll go over to employer. I'm sure some, some of you are probably already saying, well, Brother Kimball, you could, uh, you could just take um, this total and deduct the employee, and that would be the employer, and you're absolutely right. But let's just prove it out um, mathematically as well. We're going to do our uh, completeness test, and then we will take our uh, total contributions, which is here in E22. We have to multiply it by the employer contribution divided by the employee plus employer contribution percentage. Finish with the double parentheses and then double quote. So hopefully you can see the, the idea there. We've got the total contributions multiplied by this ratio that made up the employer portion, and we've got it. Now, if we just want to check that to make sure that that's correct, we can have a little check figure uh, down below. Maybe we'll just call this check figure. Uh, this is self-auditing. It's a good idea to do check figures, make sure you're catching uh, possible mistakes, and so we're going to put a little self-auditing check figure here. In this check figure, once again, we will do our uh, completeness test. We'll make sure that that's, uh, th that is complete. And then if this is working correctly, then we should be able to take E22 minus the sum of these two, uh, employee and employer, and that should come up to be zero if it's working correctly. Uh, and then uh, if it's not complete, then it's a blank. We'll format that so it looks a little bit nicer because that's just a rounding difference and it looks like we reconcile. Now we can go on to total earnings. In total earnings, we're going to use the same idea as we did for contributions. In contributions, we looked up the retirement age in our table down below, and we returned the eighth column. Well, this time, the one, we want the earnings, which is the seventh column, because salary is, uh, I think age was the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the cumulative earnings in I is the seventh column. So let's do that formula. We're going to do our completeness test and we'll do our uh, V lookup again. And uh, as you recall, you could have named this whole range. I didn't do that yet. We can come back and name it later. Um, but I'm going to highlight that whole thing all the way down to the bottom. And uh, I got one step ahead of myself. I have to... Let me delete that. I forgot to input the um, what we're looking up. We've got to first, uh, in our view lookup, we've got to first say, well, what are we looking up? We're going to look up their age. And where are we going to find their age? We're going to find it in this table. So now I'm going to go down and highlight this. Hold my shift button down, end down. But the big idea is make sure you select that whole range, C29 to L88, assuming you did it exactly as I did. And uh, I'm going to return the seventh column value, which is the, er which is the earnings column. And then I'll put my comma, double quote. So if you look at that uh, formula, that should get you to where you need to be. 
to um, return the total earnings. And then balance at retirement is a similar idea. Now, before I do the next one, I might choose to go ahead and highlight this again, end over, end down, and why don't I name that um, detailed answer by age. So I've got it named, and as I mentioned before, if we go up to um, our formulas, define name and apply names, I want to apply that detailed answer by name. And now if I get back into my employer, contrib uh, into my um, places where I looked it up, under um, my total contributions, you see that instead of having the range uh, references here, it now says detailed answer by age. And you see under total earnings, it now says detailed answer by age. So I brought in that name, even though I didn't have it created at the beginning. Okay, now under balance at retirement. Balance at retirement, we're going to do our test again. And we're going to say balance at retirement would have to be equal to our B22, which is our beginning balance, plus cumulative contributions, plus cumulative earnings, and um, you know if it were blank, then blank if data were incomplete. So we get uh, 1.5 million, and we can do a, a check figure uh, down below. In the check figure, we'll use that idea of the lookup. So once again, if completeness test, and we're going to do a view lookup, because we want to look up that uh, age and the ending balance um, for this person. View lookup, retirement age. I can just start typing, if you haven't noticed that already, instead of clicking up here, I can just start typing retirement, and you see that um, down below, the uh, named range appears, and I can now start typing um, detail, detailed answer by age, if you notice that. Double click on that. And I want to return the ninth column value. So the ninth column value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, ending balance. So I'm going to look up their age and return the corresponding ending balance. And I want to deduct G22, which is this other computation of ending balance. So this is one computation of ending balance, and I want to deduct the other computation. So if they reconcile properly, this should come up to be zero, comma, double quote, and I'm done.